Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Phoebe's Farm again. Today I'm going to um, give a few tips on how I can do a fishing task for the derby in about seven to eight hours. First of all, I'm going to show you a few of the fishing spots here. As I cast in, I will tell you what the number is on them. This spot here that I'm going to fish is number one. Number one will be ready to fish again in two hours. So we're going to go ahead and fish number one. Okay, let's go here. This is called the shallow spot. And one of the first things you want to do is make sure you have about 40 red lures. I recommend using the red lures because you're not going to catch really big fish unless they're having a special fishing event. So you want to save all of your vouchers for making the colored lures for those events. Okay, now this one is number two spot, the reedy spot. So we'll go ahead and catch, you know, cast in here. We only got 1.8 pounds on that last fish, but they, they add up. And this one, see this makes up for the difference. The sockeye salmon can be anywhere from like three and a half to four and a half pounds easily. Okay. So that's one and two. Now let's go over to the number 12 spot. And that is this one here. And this is a two hour waiting on this one as well. There's only three of the fishing spots that are at two hours. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this one. I hate those little hutchin fish. I wish I'd take them out of there. They're never very big. All right, now we're going to go to the uh, number three. No, I'm sorry. We want the two and a half hour spots. So they will be uh, number four, number eight, and I think I goofed on that. Number two up here, that is a three hour spot. Here's our other two hour spot right here. Good time to goof, right? Now, after I finish the two hour spots, I will set my timer for two hours. That way I can come back and fish these again. And this is how you, you know, you sh can do these, uh, the fishing task in a shorter time instead of waiting four hours for them all to open up. Okay. Now, the two and a half hour spots are number four, eight, and ten. Now, this spot over here just above the 12 spot it's number four so let's go ahead and catch our little hutchin fish in there again I have to catch 108 pounds of fish for this task and I can't see where I am well hey that could have been a good one I don't like to throw in my lure when there's two fish because you're guaranteed almost to have a small fish and then we got one fish here and might be a pretty good one that was a smaller circle nope bang bang I'd like to shoot those fish clear out of the lake all right that's the number four spot and the next spots the number eight spot which is across the way here and it's in the rocky area so let's go ahead and do the number eight and our next one is the number ten spot that's two and a half hours when I come when I set my timer for two hours to run the first three spots, I will set my timer then for 30 minutes and come back and do these spots. Let's go down here to the number 10. That's considered a rocky spot. See in the middle of all the rocks. So we'll cast in there. Like I said, you need to make sure you have about 30, I'd say 33 to 40 lures depending on the number of pounds required for the task. It's going to be a little fish. These add up though. Okay, now our, uh, that's our two and a half hour spots. Now our three hour spots, we already did one, which is number two. And now number three here, the reedy spot, that also is a three hour spot. See so if you get a pencil and paper, I'll go back over these spots for you after I've cast all of my ones in here. Which I 
filled up my spots, that is. Now there's a good fish. It's almost four pounds. That's mainly what your uh, weight's going to be made up. The majority of your weight will be the uh, that salmon. Um, you catch a lot of the little Hutchins. I don't like to waste my time sitting here casting and casting, waiting for the big guy. It's not going to happen. Okay, number uh, three spot is three hours. Now the other number three spot is, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, looking at my little instruction sheet I made for this. We just need one more three hour spot. It's the swampy one. This is where you catch the big catfish when you're in a fishing uh, event. And this is three hours. So let's back up. I'll set the timer for two hours. Then I'll come back and fish those three spots. Set the timer for half hour. Come fish my two and a half hour spots. Set my timer for another half hour. Come back and fish my three hour spots. Okay. Now that takes care of all the uh, three hour spots. Now we're up to the four hour spots. And of course that's going to be the three remaining spots that we have not cast. And this is a four hour. Number five. Okay, now when you set your timer for the um, for the two hour, another half hour later for the two and a half hour, half hour later for the uh, three hour, one hour later to come back to the um, four hour spots, which is five, six, and eleven. That's five. Here's six, right here four hours on these guys. Okay, now, nice one, nice one, we'll take it. I'll take all of them, saves me time, it really does. Uh, I like to try and get at least 30 pounds for my first time out. It looks like we're going to go over that. Okay, let's do this again. Set a timer for two hours. Set the timer for a half hour later to go into the two and a half hours. Set the timer again for another half hour later to go to the three hours. Set the timer for one hour after you've done the third run. That's for one hour. But when you go back, to fish uh, your four-hour spots, you'll be able to refish the one, or uh, the two-hour spots again, which is one, twelve, one, seven, and twelve. Those three spots you'll be able to fish again on the four hours, and then you're going to set your timer again for another hour, and you'll be able to go back and fish the two and a half-hour spots. Okay, so when you're when you go fishing, just check on there and see how much time is left. Three hours and 59 minutes. Let's just go up here and check the very first one that we fished. And it's already at one hour and 52 minutes. And I have my timer set for two hours. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, if you keep running these according to the time schedule and keep making your lures as you go along. Uh, yes, I do have space in my tackle box for the more and keep those, uh, make only the red, like I said, you don't want to waste your vouchers making color lures for a derby because the fish are not in there. The big fish are only in there when they have fishing events. Seldom are you going to get one outside of the fishing event unless they decide they're going to surprise us. They being heyday. Okay, so that's, like I said, that's how uh, the tips I can give you for doing a fishing task and just a few hours instead of, you know, it says you have until the end of the derby to do the fishing task, but eh, I like to move on. I like to do as many tasks as I can. So now we're going to go back over to the farm and I'm going to change my sound up here a little bit.
since it's almost the end of summer, we're going to have a little summertime music here, beachy type stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this while I attend to my farm. Here we go. Still loading. Here we are in the farm now. First thing I will do is go ahead and harvest some honey. And let's go load up the honey machine. And we got some honey sitting there waiting to be put into stock. Honey extractor. Okay, let's we got 25 to load. Let's see where we own beeswax. Let's just put in three and there's finish out with some beeswax. Okay. Uh, there are no tasks to collect a lot of uh, beeswax or honey in this derby. Hello, Lynn. How are you? You finally made it, didn't you? <laughs> Playing a little summer music while we do a little bit of farming here. Um, I've got a lot of my machines stacked for tasks, and some of these I can collect and some of them I can't collect. I will show you what I've done. I'm waiting for apple juice. I had a full barn and uh, I just kept loading up apple juice, loading it up. And I probably have about 20 setting to collect there. So we'll move on down. I can collect the sugar and I think I have uh, earnest, but I'm going to see if I can just cut in here. Whoa, 72 sugars. We could use some syrup, so we're not in a rush for those other sugar. So earnest, you can wait a little bit. You don't make my syrup anyway. All right, I can go ahead and collect from the um, pasta machine. It's not part of the derby. This has been a tough derby. Um, yeah, yeah there's, uh, when you're live streaming, you're like 10 to 15 seconds behind. What you see on the screen is 10 to 15 seconds behind what I'm seeing and doing. Fun, isn't it? So, I like island music. I don't need um, these items. For a derby task or the soup maker. Collecting only those things that I have not seen in derby task. How's your derby going, Lynn? And I don't need any of the tea for a derby task, only to fill orders. But I need the, some of these items. And I will not need anything from the uh, pasta kitchen. For the derby task, I don't need any of these for a derby task. I'll be selling some of this stuff in my shop here a little later. And these are not part of a derby task, unless it's to fill orders like on the truck or the boat. And another one. Getting close to a full barn here. and. Honey popcorn is not a part of a derby task. Now, honey toast is, so we're going to let that set there. And I would guess that I probably have about 20 sitting there waiting. And did we collect everything out here that we want to collect? I'm not going to be doing a bacon and egg task. It's just, for me, it's just a pain. I'll just go out and buy. There's plenty of them. Huh. I don't know what causes that. I think maybe the music might cause a little lag. Might cause some of that. But for what I see is continuous. Okay. I'm not going to collect any eggs. Oh, I am getting stocked up on the white sweaters there. As you can see them and stocking up on the toffee. It's not stocking, but stacking for derby task. I was stacked yesterday for the toffee machine, got the task, 
had toffee left over on the machine, so I just started filling it up again. All right, let's go down and take care of the town. This is my favorite part. Yeah, this is, uh, one thing I say about this derby is that it is a beach. <laughs> Without saying the actual word, it has not been very kind. One thing that we keep getting are a lot of fishing tasks. A lot of the guys are not prepared for fishing. And a lot of them, their levels may not be high enough that they can be well stocked on lures. And some of them are still learning how to stock their tackle box with the right items. Uh, so it's really been a pain. I know in my babyhood, every time I go to clear tasks, I've got like five or six fishing tasks. Uh, that's only like a level 43 and she is in no way prepared to do fishing tasks. She can do one but then after that it's all over. Okay, now in the town we're going to go ahead and collect all of our little goodies. This stuff will really put the barn over. Which I don't mind it means when the barn is over go ahead and do the uh, stacking when the barn is over without worrying about putting something into the barn that you don't want in there. I love Hawaiian music or island style music. Makes one feel like they want to be on the beach laying in a hammock just enjoying the scenery. I think the music gets a little choppy. I may have to turn it off. Like from my people. I'm not going to have a lot to load back up with because I haven't been running my town as much as I normally do. This is where I get all my XP. I'm just... Um, About 110,000, no, under, about 90,000 away from leveling up again. And uh, I call these, these you could probably call lazy XP because you can load up all your machines and go take care of other things on the farm while you're just being lazy and letting the XP grow over here. I was on a beach somewhere. Perfect way to end summer, like I said, with island music. I hope this, when I complete the live stream, I hope the music comes through okay. Let's see how 
close I'm getting to another animal here. The brown elephant, no. Uh, the brown hippo. Need four more pieces for that guy. I should be a higher level on my town also, Lynn. Um, you're level 32, and I'm just level 29. Um, I had a lot of misconceptions about the town at first. I didn't like it. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to go for coins, just increase everything for coins. Because at that time, I really needed the coins for all the other machines. Um, so I went for increasing my coins. Um, I'll show you here. Then I got the bright idea one day that, uh, hey, it's taking too long for some of these guys to go through a building, so I started increasing on the time. But now I'm focusing on only increasing the XP and the reputation points. Uh, I just need a few more items to this to max out on the XP. I believe it's at 60% where you max out. Time is 40%. I don't know on coins yet because I haven't gotten that far on those. Um, the coins are not an issue for me anymore, so I'm not too concerned about that part. Uh, but here's something I found out. Let's see if we got anybody we can put in here, and I'll show you. Uh, well, I don't have anybody. Seven people. Oh my gosh. I gotta go find somebody. Let's see if anyone's got a lot to load up here. No, she doesn't have very many. Hey, somebody's got ten people waiting. Uh, I kind of know when some of these people are going to have a nice selection and when they're not. Uh, she doesn't have that many. Let's keep checking here. Whoops. cinema and when I go do the cinema some of you will understand why um, I don't understand why some people don't have more on their docks like I do well this isn't gonna cut it let's go back to I believe it was She's just got one cinema there, so I will see what he wants. Sounds good, it's not choppy. I hear choppy on my end. It's probably just something to do with my computer. I gotta try and get as many tasks done today as possible. I won't be able to um, play for tomorrow. I'm getting a little oral surgery in the morning, so I'm gonna be out of it for the rest of the day. Okay, are my guys getting off the train now. Let's go see if we can find the cinema. Here we go. Let's see what he wants. Oh ho. He wants some jelly beans. All right, let's go back that through that again. Now watch when the little um, point information comes up above his head here. 984 XP plus 542 bonus. I'm gonna get 1526 XP off this guy just for giving him some jelly beans. Now see why I like the town and I, why I can be called lazy XP. Go ahead, feed them, serve them, do everything you have to over here. Go back to the farm and remake the products again. Uh, some people 
don't like doing the town very much because they say it, you know, kind of drains their barn of their resources. I just keep making them. Just keep making them. I have a goal of trying to keep 20 of each item in my barn. Of course, you got to have a bigger barn for that. I'm still fighting, trying to increase the size on that. He just can't hold a lot of the extras like uh, LEMs and silo. Just focus on holding the barn expansion materials. And of course, you need to keep a few saws and axes on around. All right, let's go ahead and serve him 1526 XP. Way to go, way to go. Look at that again. 1526 XP. So see how the town can really pay off for you? Uh, if you can, focus on increasing the XP and your reputation points rather than the coins or the time. Uh, the only one I would focus on time on is the bed and breakfast as that takes when you first open it that can take uh, up to seven hours Let's see if I have a bed and breakfast here to load just to show you I don't have one to load so I only got 14 guests if I have the diamonds I will bring in the train just so I can fill up my town all these people. I love that sound, that music. I haven't maxed all of my times yet because uh, I'll, I'll go back to the grocery store and the gift shop because they're da they're down to I don't know if my gift shop's down to an hour or hour and a half. Let's serve him and we'll see. Hour and a half on the gift shop, and I can I don't know how much more that will reduce down to. What's the max on the uh, gift shop when you have your time all maxed out, Lynn? Do you know? Anyway, this, um, can't wait to max out. Hammers are hard to get on the gift shop for XP. They don't ask for jewelry too often, but when they do, the uh, XP is usually pretty good. I need more visitors in my town, so I can opt to go over here and find if anyone has a lot of them. That would be three diamonds, no. Try some of these other guys that I didn't try. Uh, he doesn't have any. Whoa, that looks good. Let's take them. For three diamonds, I'm going to get how many people? Seven. So, I will go ahead and take them. Go back over here. And we'll load these guys out as soon as they land. Your grocery's down to 39 minutes. That helps um, if you're doing a derby task. It really does. Give shops at an hour and nine minutes. I actually, I think I'll leave the grocery store at an hour because then you can go over and run the grocery and the gift shop at the same time. And I'm not sure on the diner, I haven't maxed that one. Right now I'm just focusing on uh, getting my XP all maxed out. And I'm not going to spend diamonds to do that. I know some people do spend diamonds to max everything out. Good old hammers, where are they? Okay, these guys should be about ready. I 
don't usually send any of the visitors away unless they ask for an exorbitant amount. For example, if they want 20 brown sugar and I only have 10, I'm not going to waste my time. I'll just send them away. All right, let's go out here and serve these people. And as we go along, we'll see what we're going to get in XP. We're going to get 160 for serving him some pasta and olives. And 143 cheap for lettuce, milk, and tomatoes. Your cheap heyday. And for some cheese and soy sauce, 312 XP. You got to remember when you're uh, doing the. Um, loading your XP or your products on the town. Remember, you earned XP on those in the making process as well. Okay, let's see what we can do down here. 338. Now that is cheap for all the time you guys sit here and wait for those guys to finish. 4 hours and 47 minutes. And I've maxed the time out on that one. So let's just focus on, I can't upgrade until I reach 30, but I'm sitting there ready and waiting for it. Got them, and let's go over here. are close to two hours waiting time. I will work at reducing that time more after I max out my XP. Okay, got them all done. Let's just see what we have down here. Tape. Why can't they give us planks? All right, back to the farm. I do not like wasting time on making that. There we go. Anything that takes a real long time to make, that's what I usually send Tom after, or the most expensive things, like maybe blankets and diamond rings, things that... I don't want to waste a diamond making diamond rings when I can send Tom. I'd rather save those diamonds for other things. you learn. People, you learn what fits your playing style than anything else. You'll learn to adapt. Oh ho, look at this folks. I have a gift box from the gift catalog. Now one of the options showing on that was a red tractor. And if you look over here, I have three red tractors. I have not spent a single coin on those. I have gotten all three of my tractors from the gift catalog. And you just save up till you have uh, the required amount. Let's see how many does it take here. It's not going to tell me on this one, but it will tell me on my other farm because the red tractor is up for grabs on it. Let's see here. Take just a moment. I can tell you, I think it was 35 gift cards that I needed to get the tractor. Yep, 35 gift cards. And as you can see, when I spent them, I had 44 gift cards available. So let's just go up here and let me get Tom going, get him out of the way here. So my time will start again. Okay, cross fingers for another red tractor. Yuck. I don't even use those. <laughs> we 
we need a trash bin for some of these items that they keep giving us that we don't use. <laughs> I, they just kind of large for some of the decor. Wanted to try to fit that into your decor. Get him. <laughs> Barn is full. What can we sell? Milk. Got lots of milk. sell some fish later on too. Just as soon as I emptied that barn, Rosio filled it up. I have to get something that she doesn't fill up on. Let's do the fish. Now don't do it, Rose. Ah, uh, I beat her. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send Tom out for like the jams. Of course, I do make some of them as well. Um, that soy sauce, which just takes up your machine. You can't make your other things. I'd rather spend the time on my, um, let's go over here to it. I'd rather spend all my time on that sauce maker, making things that are fast and easy. Like right now, uh, I have 10 on the salsa, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it up for salsa. We okay on tomatoes and peppers? Yes. Okay, and I put in a load of um, goat cheese earlier this morning, but I don't think I have goat milk ready. I have to go to the newspaper and see if I can find some. And I have a thing about how much the uh, crops that I will store in my barn and I will show you my little strategy on that. I call this the basic five. Out of the basic five I try to keep between 175 to 200 of the items but I'm low on corn. I got some to collect down here so let's see where that's going to put us as far as our quantities go. So I want 20 more. I'll be making some cornbread and some. Uh, I'll go to the taco kitchen here a little later. Uh, not going to do the wheat. Wheat will be the last thing that I try to do because uh, I need my fields for other things, and I will go buy wheat for one or ten cents, whatever I can find. Let's do another one of these. And where are we here? Uh, we need soybeans. We'll fill those up to bring them up to about 200. And oh, here's another good thing. Another good way to get XP is taking care of your animals, your pets. Okay, and I will go ahead and do these just to show you what happens when I wake them up. Okay, let's wake them up. I got two axes. Okay, let's take care of the little kitty cats. And I need one more little kitty. And I didn't get anything except XP on that, but I will get something here. Let's see here. I didn't get any rewards on that one. This will give us something, surely. <laughs> That's odd. Three different animals in a row, and I didn't get anything? Hmm. Hey, Dave, what are you doing to us? Everybody yells and screams at Hey, Dave, when things don't go right. All right, what are we gonna get here? What the heck? I didn't get any rewards. I just only on the uh, little puppies. That something is wrong. That usually doesn't happen like that. 
Okay, but I have something up here, I'm sure. Yes, I do. And I got something from Rose and Ernest, but my barn is full. <laughs> More fish, because I'm going after fish now. <laughs> It's a lot of hard work putting that fishing. All right, now let's see if we can collect them. There we go. Okay, I could collect the ores, but I don't need them right now. I might, when I'm stacking, I'll jump to the ores to keep my barn full so I can keep stacking. Because if, um, let's see, for example, if I was stacking for... Let's just say if I'm stacking for pancakes. If you see, when I load the pancakes, it would take four items out of my barn. For stacking, you gotta keep your barn full. So if I put those uh, four pancakes on, I would need four more items in the barn. So this is where I would go to get them. Right here. Come on. Finish filling up with the ores. You can do that right now. So now my barn is full. You go back over here and load another item, go back, fill up the barn again, you go back and forth to stack. If you have already reached your maximum on the stacking, like I have here on the sweaters and the uh, toffee, this is how you can over stack. Uh, I've got nine toffee sitting here on the shelf, and I probably have about 14 more, 15 more in the machine because I believe the, I don't remember, I think the task may have taken like 24, Let's go over and check here and see what did it take, if this is the right one. Yeah, it took 16. Sorry about that. Something else took 24. Hot chocolate takes 30 for the 400 point task. But the toffee takes 16 for the 400 point. They're, they're not coming up. I'm telling you, the 400 point tasks just are not there. They're just... Um, Look at all the ones under 300 that we are getting. Heyday's not liking us. I don't understand why. We're uh, trashing anything under 310. And I will trash duplicates. And that was the brunch task. That's the spa task. Okay, I'll let those two set for a few hours, and if nobody takes them, then they're going to get trashed. We have to keep the board refreshed as much as we can, and sometimes we have to sacrifice other tasks. Okay, so, folks, that's kind of like how I do my heyday. I'd like to hear input from everybody else on how you do your heyday. Uh, and if you also have um, your farm, a Halloween design set on your farm, uh, you can post those to me, take a screenshot and post those to me. Uh, just make a note below that you have collected one and I will tell you where to send it. I want to do a slideshow of the different um, Halloween decorations, but I only have about 10 collected right now for the slideshow, so I'd appreciate any screenshots of your Hall uh, Halloween decorations that you have. Okay? Alright, thanks guys. See you all later. Maybe we'll be back and uh, do some more fishing. Alrighty, bye now.